हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू गोयकार बोन विथ मी सूरज नंद्रेकर वी आर इन द विलेज ऑफ सांता क्रूज द कॉन्स्टिट्युएन्सी एंड हियर मिस्टर अमित पालेकर इज कैम्पेनिंग इज डोर टू डोर फॉर फॉर द अपकमिंग इलेक्शन्स एज वी ऑल नो ही इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर कैंडिडेट ऑफ आम आदमी पार्टी लेट्स टॉक टू हिंग अबाउट वॉट आर हिज प्रोस्पेक्ट्स एंड हाउ डू ही सी आम आदमी पार्टीज प्रोस्पेक्ट्स इन गोवा welcome uh, sir ha, thank you how, how is the response in goa very good i think uh, more particularly santa cruz or any other constituencies i have roamed almost all the constituencies uh, wherever possible i could go and response seems to be overwhelming it's undercurrents is underlying you may not see it in surveys you may not see it otherwise people are scared because of the current uh, the way bjp and congress both have been able to you know uh, suppress their their uh, their voices their their feelings So I think uh, the way things are moving, it's very positive. Specifically in Santa Cruz, if you see in all the three villages which comprises of Santa Cruz constituency, the response is overwhelming. Um, in fact, uh, it's very positive. It's very very positive because they're looking for a hope which which uh, they never saw in any candidate so far. So I think it's going to be a good goal. Amit, uh, from being a, a very popular lawyer to politics, how has been the journey? it's amazing i'll tell you uh, it, it's not different being in uh, being a lawyer also i have i had indulged in lot of uh, activities which uh, socially i've been very active made be through uh, rotary clubs or ngos and being a lawyer itself helps me help people so you know uh, it's not much of a difference only thing the transition is that here you have to go and ask people to vote for you their people would come to you and you would help them so either which way again the uh, the thing is it's about helping it's about bringing a change because i think santa cruz needs a big change in terms of development model in terms of needs of the people and there is so much to achieve in this constituency for last 3 decades i don't think santa cruz has seen any development which you can call development it's just a basic uh, superficial things about uh, whatever that needs to be like the roads or whatever the tarring which has been done in certain places that to after every 5 years or 6 years or later so i think this this uh, constituency is crying for for development Uh, which we are trying to offer yeah uh, amit uh, from being a non entity in politics to becoming a chief uh, minister's candidate uh, wasn't it surprising and uh, uh, what was your initial reaction of see in simple thing you need to we have a will there is a god's way i think god's grace is everything your elders blessings people's blessings that's what gets you to a position you may be working very hard but if you don't have god's grace you don't have people's uh, blessings with you you don't have elders blessings with you you can never move ahead in life i think it's all combined together with your willingness of of uh, of working for people i think that all combines the universe then conspires, conspires as you say to get you to a position where you are so it's a it's an it's a beautiful journey from october till now and uh, it's it's a journey of hope it's a journey which promises something to the people of santa cruz and goa there is a vision uh, for people of goa there is a vision for santa cruz and that's the vision which my god is blessing me to take it ahead i think it's going to be it's going to be a beautiful journey from here after for me for my entire life yeah uh, amit uh, uh, the the opposition uh, they are they are seriously actually i think they are nervous and uh, <laughs> as you said earlier uh, they are nervous and they are making some allegations against it they, they are saying that you use the old goa controversy to your benefit see please understand one thing nobody stopped anybody from coming to old goa and doing what i did uh, whether it is beneficial or not let god decide we were able to achieve something as far as old goa was concerned we were able to achieve something which nobody could achieve in 5 6 months i think god knows what we have done and it cleanses everything i am saying that if you want to achieve benefits like this, there are so many problems that are existing in goa please go take a political benefit by fasting for 5 days let's see whether you can do it so i think it's it's of no consequence to me people know what the fact is we were able to unite goa in 5 days time i i was set for hunger strike lakhs of people came to visit me lakhs of people signed the petition that this fast should end and government should take immediate action we got the government on its knees government which had not blinked an eye against this construction admitted that it was a fraud for the first time on camera and thereafter you know what is the consequences panchayat has taken actions the structure is going to be demolished so i have achieved what i have to achieve it's between me and my god let not be bother about what others are talking about what other politi- political parties are talking about the fact is they are scared so you see very uh, senile statements being made by very tall leaders 
you know whilst no, what, ridiculing what, what, what is your message to those who are saying that it was uh, the first was stage managed who managed it god did yeah. i come up with the construction the construction came up by a bjp leader mm. the construction was approved by bjp government mm. did i manage stage manage that mm. if the party who is telling you that this is being stage managed please tell them that they are the stage manager they are the theatrists they are the notankis in goa they are the jumlas in goa so all these people need to be taught a lesson by people of goa it's very easy to criticize somebody but it's very difficult to have a vision and move forward towards that direction i am talking about vision for goa i am talking about goa which is better for goa and goinkars and as you say as your channel says goinkarpan what is goinkarpan goinkarpan is development of goa goinkarpan is goodness of goa where is that goa which is being lost why are people are going to do, uh, london and working why can't they be working here because there is no opportunity you think they love to go there and do what odd jobs they are doing there i don't think so you think families of goa who are living alone your parents live alone here so many of them while i am i am roaming in santa cruz constituency and second see old ladies single ladies you think they love to do it them they don't miss their children not, or the children don't miss the parents it's because we fail to create opportunities for them government after government and that is what needs to change that is what needs to be seen that is what we should talk about let's not criticize each other let's talk about vision for goa let's talk about what you want to do what you want to do what you have done and what you haven't done so i think let's talk about positivity and optimism let's not be pessimistic about somebody else's work i have done what i have to do i know what i have done and again i'm saying that's my relationship with god that's it he is blessing me enough i am in a position today where i am today that leaders which have to come to our constituency imagine for the first time tall leaders have come to santa cruz constituency and talking about criticism instead of development please come walk with me the whole constituency i'll show you the heaps of garbage i will invite mr fadnavis and rcm to please come let's walk from one end of santa cruz constituency to another end and let us see what kind of 60 crores work that you claim to have been done is done or what kind of heaps of garbage that you have put in here let us talk let us walk it's very bit difficult yes. talking to a, to a noted lawyer like that no no it's not it's talking about it's it's about my heart which i'm talking about no. it's said it's said um, you know uh, suraj it's very sad when i walk the constituency when i see this tar has must have been laid after god knows how many years just a carpet just to just to show that something has been done you walk you walk you go to every part of goa you go to the top part of santa cruz al santa cruz heaps of garbage you walk to um, uh, chimbel heaps of garbage mer says you can't talk for uh, about anything in fact uh, while criticizing me the mla's aide bjp mandal president talked about illegal constructions in the whole constituency and asked me whether i have taken any action against them my dear friend he should know that his mla was there for past 5 years did you ask him what action did he take for those past 5 years so these people are you know right now confused that they are, they know they are losing but it's how what worse we can do to make him lose is what bjp is trying to do there's a secret ad- agenda between congress and bjp candidate here either you win it's going to be bjp i win is going to be bjp but amit should not win because if amit wins next 20 years nobody can win here because that is the kind of work that i will do and i have that confidence i can do it uh, amit uh, now uh, see you are first time into politics and after that uh, now the thing is the responsibility has been put on your shoulders to lo- as the cm candidate how much more uh, th- how tough is this job it's not tough at all see when you have a vision no, apart from constant santa cruz no, you have to also give easy. A it's very easy time management mm. see i mean as a lawyer i know time management i have been managing 20 matters in a day in different courts i know how to deal with that it's just about time management and willingness to work i think god has given us enough time the problem is we can't manage time we always say time naam ka but why there is enough time there is enough we can do i am giving time to my family i am giving time to my profession as in the morning i did my work not that i i missed on that i i i played with my child and here i am roaming the constituency afternoon i will go somewhere else i'll do that work it's just very simple you have to manage everything including your sleep sleep timing because if you don't sleep you can't rest then your mind doesn't work and it, without intelligent mind nothing can be done Uh, amit uh, my last question to you uh, the tel- uh, santa cruz is uh, a suburb of panjim the capital town of goa uh, now uh, santa cruz has not seen the development except for the roads which has divided the village 
uh, what do you think is lacking and what are, what would be your priorities once you are elected let's uh, see it's unfortunate that i have to say let's start with basics no 24 hours electricity supply is here mm. water comes for 2 to 3 hours mm. no public health center no community center even if you want to do a meeting you would have to search for a place here it's so sad no proper sanitation sewage system no proper garbage disposal system now on this basic we are part of panjim all this exists part of our constituency is now annexed to panjim constituency you see the development there are we orphans but we are cursed with mlas after mlas we are cursed with mlas after mlas who have not performed in santa cruz and i am here to break the jinx i am here to break that jinx for the people of santa cruz and i can do it i know god is willing uh, thank you amit um, bab you gave us your precious time uh, as a as a lawyer i don't think it, we can uh, we can argue better than you here <laughs> and a, a, you have <laughs> answered all our questions and uh, we hope that p uh, honest people like you get elected to the assembly thank you very much thank once you again so much. Yeah. thank you right i'll take it as a compliment about the honesty thank Thanks. you yeah. <laughs>